so many songs that we have been given have been given uh, have been inspired by sermons that are from preachers who don't lie to you. They, they tell you, they keep you uh, in line. And it's a beautiful thing because we're missing that a lot today. Yes, we are. We want to do a song for you that's very, very special to me. And uh, I, I wanted to share just a little bit about what God's done in my life. But for 13 years, I, I battled a rare form of Crohn's disease. And I know you're familiar with the disease. It attacks the digestive system. It keeps you from being able to digest food properly. And all, for 13 years, not only was my digestive system severely inflamed, but all the nerve endings from my head to my feet, my skin, my eyes, everything was completely uh, inflamed. And I, the doctors had told me there was no cure for what I was going through, but hopes that maybe one day my body would go into a mission. I was on over 20 different medications to stay alive. And uh, I remember on February 22nd of 2011, I walked into an experimental holistic program with no guarantee that my body would receive what was going to happen. But I'm so thankful to tell you that it's been over three years now that I'm 100% free. Wow. So my job this morning is to tell you that we serve a God bigger than the situation, the problem that you brought into this building this morning. He's still in the healing business. I opened my Bible to John chapter 9 and I read of how Jesus passes by a blind man and he spits on the ground and he takes the clay and he puts it into the blind man's eyes and he tells him to go to the pool and to wash. I love that because a blind man receives a miracle. But it wasn't until I became desperate for God to move in my life that I began to see that the moment Jesus touched the blind man, he did not receive his miracle then. You see, he had to walk. Commentaries, uh, different ones I've read, have said it was up to a half of a mile or longer that the blind man had to walk before he would dip himself in the water and then receive the promise that had been given him. But we knew that he walked by faith and not by sight, and he was obedient to what the Lord had asked him to do because he finally received the promise that had been given him. I want to do this song for any of you this morning that have been holding on to a promise that God has given you. Don't give up. Amen. <clears throat> Didn't pass and by he heard he 
is always watching out for us, isn't he? We, uh, we love singing about Jesus. We love the opportunities God has given us and to be a part of the Gaither Tour has been such a blessing to our family to open